Yes, yes, yes. It's Raphael Dawkins, Combat Radio. And today, we're looking at the words of Deontay, the bronze bomber, Wilder. Okay, so, as we know, the bronze bomber always has a story to tell. True or false, sometimes he, they, the truth intermingles with the false. You have to look deeply into his stories. And in this story, he tells a tale that Tyson Fury offered to step aside so that he, the bronze bomber Wilder, can face the winner of Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz Jr. in February. Now, my dissection of this. Well, first of all, let's take a little look at the story and I'll dissect it. And we'll hope to separate truth from fiction. Okay, because I do see some truth in there. And I do see some fiction. So let's let's do the analysis. Okay. So, Deontay Wilder claims Tyson Fury wanted to step aside in February so that he could fight the winner of Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz Jr. Of course, Fury is said to have done this in order to face the winner of that fight in a unification bout. Fury denied he would ever step aside, but WBC champ Wilder spoke to the boxing voice or to the boxing <laughs> the boxing recently and insisted he did I'm a warrior bro I'm a king and my mentality is savage if so be it his English is terrible while the start is stated started while the start in the writing is terrible too damn if the man wants to get his ass whooped in the ring then so be it. I tried to give him another road. And I tried to give him what he talked about the first time when he said, why don't you and Joshua fight? And I can come back. You see, that part, that part is true. Why don't you and Joshua fight? And I'll fight the winner very short article. That part is true. We'll come back to that. I'm only giving him what he asked for. Most of, most of these guys get what they ask for. Fury and Wilder look set to have a, the sequel to their draw on February 22nd. Really? February 22nd. Highly bear in mind. We'll come back to that. While Joshua and Ruiz will contest the other heavy for the other heavyweight belts, all the other heavyweight belts in Saudi Arabia on December 7th. If Wilder's suggestion is accurate, which Fury claims it is not, but if it were, Fury would walk into an undisputed title shot instead of having to battle Wilder for the WBC belt for a second time. It's not the silliest plan when you think about it. Who wrote this? Who wrote this? Alex McCarthy. Yeah, you need to proofread your shizzle, Alex. Proofread your shizzle. I found a few flaws in your in your in your writing. But anyway, let's get into the dissection. Okay, so where are we? Where is that pertinent point? Okay. Damn, where is the pertinent point? Oh, here it is. Okay, right. So, why don't you and Joshua fight? Then I can come back. Okay, so, that's where we'll start. Because Tyson Fury actually did say that. I recall him saying that. Immediately after the fight, immediately after their first fight, what was that, December, 
2018. Immediately after that fight, I recall Fury pontificating on the options. And one option was an immediate rematch. I think this was the morning after. This was the morning after the fight. And he was pontificating with an interviewer about an immediate rematch. I deserve, I deserve an immediate rematch. And then about a day later or two later, I heard him say, well, why don't Joshua? I mean, why don't Wilder fight Joshua? Yeah, let Wilder fight Joshua. And then I'll fight the winner of the two. So that, that statement, why don't you and Joshua fight? Then I can come back. That statement is accurate. I heard, I heard it from the lips of the Gypsy King. But you see, that's where the story gets all mixed up. Because, yes, he did say that. But, did he say, why don't you, the bronze bomber, Wilder, why don't you fight the winner of Joshua Ruiz? No, I didn't hear him say that. If you want to point to the source of him saying that, then I would be rather happy to see that. No, he didn't say that. But he did say, you and Joshua can fight and I'll fight the winner. <laughs> you see how that's how the bronze bomber operates. But I can't call him more of a liar than Fury. Fury is also known to weave fact with fiction. So they're both in the same boat. They take a little bit of truth here, twist it, distort it, contort it, and then sell it on as a factual story. Whereas in fact, what the bronze bomber said was a combination of fact and fiction. Because he did say, Fury did say, yeah, you, you, you two, you two unify. I'll fight for, I'll fight for the unify. I'll fight, I'll fight for, I'll fight, for, I'll fight the guy who's unified. Yeah, he did say that. So now, what Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder has done is transposed, transposed the statement made in 20, late 2018 and transposed it, moved it on, changed the timeline of the statement. <laughs> He's changed it. Yeah, you may well laugh. You may well laugh, the Bronze Bomber. He's moved that statement on, transposed it from one time period to a different time period. So effectively, yes, ultimately, it's still the same, it's still the same storyline, but from a different time, different players. You see, he wasn't talking about Joshua and Ruiz. Free wasn't talking about Joshua and Ruiz. He was talking about Joshua and Wilder. The Bronze Bomber Wilder. Whom we see here. So, what we have is a story which is part fact and part fiction. Tyson Fury said... You and Joshua fight, and I'll fight the winner. So now basically you're fighting the guy with all the belts. All the belts. So that's the equivalent, but not the same as saying, you fight, you Wilder, fight the winner of Joshua Ruiz. And the winner of that fight between you and the winner of Joshua and Ruiz will have all the belts and then I'll fight that person. Yeah, he said that in a manner of speaking, but not exactly that. So you've changed the timeline, Wilder. You've changed the timeline. Time 
to be clear, for the last time, what Fury actually said was, you fight Joshua. That was when Joshua was the unified champ. And I'll fight the winner of that fight. Ruiz was not in the equation at that time. Okay. So that's my dissection of the Bronze Bomber story. Of course, they may have had a private conversation which we're not privy to. But other than that, that is the closest we can get to the truth. What say you? Do you believe that there was some behind the scenes conversation where Fury said, you fight the winner of Joshua Ruiz? You believe that? Nah. I don't believe that for a second. Why would you want to miss out? Why would you want to miss out on that clash? Okay, leave your statements. It's Raphael Dawkins. It's the Combat Radio. It's the like. It's the subscribe. It's the comment. It's the shares. And it is the hitting that bell icon to stay updated with news and notifications. And for sure, don't forget, follow me on Twitter. For when YouTube notification fails. And for sure, check out the live shows. Support the videos by smashing that like button. It's the Raphael Dawkins Combat Radio. And I'm out.